Good morning, first graders. Today is May 19, 2020. It is Tuesday. Um, what we're going to do in math today is we're going to continue building our airplanes and measuring them. But this time it's a little bit different because you get to customize your airplane. You get to build it however you would like to build your airplane. Um, so if you need some ideas, I'm going to post the link below. And there's some videos that you can watch on how to build them. Or maybe you already have an idea in your brain and you already know how to do it. Um, I heard this really crazy rumor that maybe if you put a paper clip on it somewhere, it helps. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, and like yesterday, what you're going to do is you're going to build one airplane and you're going to find this page in your packet and you're going to throw it three times. So first time you're going to throw it, you're going to measure how far it went. You're going to use that teak measure that you built yesterday in math. Hopefully you didn't throw it away. Um, and then you're going to do it three times, okay? And then you're going to build a second plane, however you will like. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do it three tests, and you're going to see how far it goes, okay? You can use the paper in your packet to build your plane. There is plain paper here. Um, there is, you can also use notebook paper you have in your house. You can always use computer paper, whatever paper you find, okay? So, what you're going to do now is you're going to take this data you've collected, and then you're going to use that to answer the questions on this page here, okay? So number one says, what was your longest throw? So you're going to look here and you're going to see how far your planes went. Okay. And longest means which number is the biggest. Okay. So for example, if you have, say, imagine that this was 16, this was 17, this was 18. 18 will be my longest throw. Okay. So then I will write 18 here. Now, the next thing you're going to do is, what was your shortest throw? And shortest, it means the smallest number that you saw. Number three says, how much longer was your longest throw than your shortest throw? So I'm going to imagine some numbers right now to show you what that means, okay? So I'm going to imagine my longest throw was... 10 inches and my shortest throw was 5 inches all right and then number three was asking me how much longer was your longest throw than your shortest throw what how to figure that out and this is what something that scientists do is they take the longest throw which was 10 for me and then subtract it with my shortest throw. <clears throat> so then I come with, with the equation 10 take away 5. So you take the number here, subtract it to this number here, and then you find how much longer. And 10 take away 5 is 5 inches. Remember, you're not copying my data, you're using the data you found, okay? Um, number four says, did plane number one or plane number two fly farther? So that means you're going to look here, and you're going to compare which one had went farther, okay? And then you're going to write the number plane two or plane one. And number five, how did the planes fly differently? So if you notice that plane one flew farther, you can write that. Maybe you noticed that plane two was kind of like when it was flying. You can write about that. Um, maybe one went up really high and up. You can write about that. So you're just describing how they flew differently. All right, number six. Why did one plane fly farther than the other? And this 
there is no right or wrong answer here, but I want you to put a guess. Like maybe it had a longer nose and it flew long farther than the other. Maybe it had wider wings. Maybe it was skinnier. Those are all good answers. Um, our guesses. And then number seven is how could you make your planes fly farther? So you're gonna write maybe like next time I will try, maybe next time I will try a skinny plane. Next time I will try uh, making the nose longer. Maybe next time I will try making the noise the nose more pointy. So next time I will try, and you can pause the video there to copy that sentence. All right. So I'm really excited to see what your planes look like. Um, if you're on my class dojo, can you send me a picture? And if you're in Mrs. Draper's class, can you also send her a picture of your planes and maybe a video of you guys throwing them and seeing how they go? We're very curious, all right? Um, as always, be safe, be kind, wash your hands, and I will see you on Thursday. Love you guys. Bye.